This is one of those special guitars that kind of like mean a lot to me. Um, I've had this one for a really long time and I'm really proud of it. We're going to make our own version of it today. Well, actually over the next few weeks, um, consolidated into this short video, but uh, let's take a closer look at what we have. So here's our guitar and it's pretty sweet. This one is the 50th anniversary Strat that they did back in like 2004. It's supposed to be just like the original 54 Strats. It has an offset uh, seam, two piece ash body. This one's a really nice, cool looking, clean, nice maple neck. This is a Dennis Galuska master build. It's absolutely gorgeous. So our plan is to make kind of our own rendition of this guitar. And since it's like my favorite strap, we're gonna use it as our template. So you could really see how rolled the headstock is, all the, all the edges and everything on it are really, really rolled. And how round the fretboard edges are. So I've created our handmade template and uh, we're going to do our own rendition of this guitar. It's going to be really cool. I'll square up my whole neck blank with the truss rod in just the way it is. I scoop it out over here but and do the nut, but I like to uh, cut my frets while the neck is still square. It's a lot easier. I'll do the final depth later. fretboard edges really good so I can get my uh, 54 Strat vibe. So we're we're really honing in here on the Strat. Um, it's close to being done, at least here. We're going to go to the paint shop next. I didn't do a lot of video on this one, at least not as much as the last two, because uh, I intend on these videos to be about five or six minutes long, and that hasn't really turned out that way. So hopefully... Uh, <laughs> this one isn't that bad. So I have this scuffed down just a little bit with like a really fine grit. We're going to uh, clear coat over our sunburst now and get it really, really nice. Put these studs in. This is going to get a modern two post tremolo. So for this, this one, I'm going to put in the Texas special set. This is the same set of pickups I used in one of my videos. Um, I would have combed my hair if I knew the video was going to get all those views. So this one will be number nine. And it's actually what I've been calling it is the Sassafras Strat because that is really the secret with this guitar. It is Sassafras, two piece, and I couldn't get wide enough pieces, so we just did a center seam as opposed to the offset seam. It's really the only thing about this guitar that's kind of quirky. <laughs>
Root House sort of tone. <laughs> sort of feel. So I am proud um, of this this accomplishment. I thought this could have gone, you know, just as a prototype, messing around with the strat, never build a strat before, just whatever. But this 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 went our way. It it really did and I'm proud of it. Um, the sunburst looks great. The neck feels just like the 54 master build. Everything about it is kind of just how I wanted it to be. Point making these and never making a strat before, I just took my time on it and it turned out just like I wanted it to. Uh, probably experiment with different woods and different colors and stuff in the future, but I don't know how many strats I'll make, uh, but it's just so cool. And I really have no idea what I'm gonna do with it to stand here and say, well, I'm going to put it on reverb.com and I'm going to list it and here's the link and all that. I don't know if I'm going to list it or not. Um, maybe I will and I'll just kind of put it out there for like what I'm willing to sell it for, which I don't even know if I'm willing to sell it. It's, it's really sweet. It doesn't weigh that much. It sounds great and they're all great, but it's a really unique guitar and there's like a love hate thing with it kind of in a way because it's like, it's really hard to make, um, you know, with the pick guard and just all the electronics and everything, the strat. So I loved it. It was so much fun. I did get these generic MCI cases, which are actually nice. I just don't really know how nice. So, we're experimenting with those too, but what a great guitar and a great time building it. So thanks for visiting Dave's World and until next time, which I don't know what the next video will be, but I am making another video right now that's going to be pretty interesting. So uh, stay tuned.